Now I'm at the studio. In theory, my swipe will get me in. Uh, no! What? They said my swipe would work. <gasps> hey guys, what's up? It has been a long time since I've been a vlog, but I have an exciting trip coming up, so I thought I would share some of this with you all. So I'm flying to Belhaven University in Mississippi for a week-long teaching residency. All well, thanks to my friend Ariana who connected me. She's an adjunct there right now. So I'm going to be teaching a bunch of hip-hop classes, some contact improvisation classes, some dance photography classes, and I'm doing multiple photo shoots with the dance department and their dancers. So I'm really excited. I'm really excited to get to know this community that I uh, really haven't gotten a chance to connect with. We'll see how it goes. I got through TSA in like five minutes. TSA pre-check is the best thing I've ever done in regards to travel. If you haven't done it, I highly recommend it, especially if equipment, like all my camera gear. I used to have to take every single piece out and like let it go in the bin. I didn't even take my shoes off. I just walked through. It was great. I'm here very early, so I'm gonna relax, do some reading, and then I'll see you all in Mississippi. I'm waiting for one of the dance majors to pick me up. She's also a dance photographer, so like this trip is already off to a great start. I need to go to a Target to grab some batteries for my flashes and a couple other things and grab dinner. And then the rest of the night I'm gonna be preparing some of my slides for my presentations, finish choreographing for a class tomorrow, um, and hopefully go to bed somewhat early. Uh, so yeah. Alright, we are here at Target. This is wanna you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Sarah Marie. I go to yeah. Bellhaven University. Yeah, so we got some snacks, some batteries. She's also a dance photographer, dance major, and then sports medicine, which is what I did at Maryland. Uh, we also both drive white CRVs. We're twins. Yeah, she just needs to get the yellow stripe and then we're good. Um. We'll see. <laughs> I got Panda Express tonight, but they didn't have forks or chopsticks, so I'm gonna eat noodles with a spoon. Good morning, it is day one of residency. Um, actually, it's been great so far. So it is like 11.15, I'm about to go over to the dance studios to talk through the space, walk, walk through the space, finalize the locations of where we're gonna do some photo shoots and look at the equipment, make sure everything there is good. And then I'm teaching a hip hop class and a contact improv class, like basically right after that. This morning, I woke up on my own at like seven, which I was very surprised because I went to bed at like 2.30 last night. I was just going over my lesson plans. I kept changing the choreography I was gonna teach today. Like I couldn't make up my mind. It was a hot mess. Anyways, I met up with Krista, who is the director of the dance program here. We chatted a little bit, she showed me the campus. I had a Zoom meeting, and then about to go do this meeting. Everyone I've met is so nice. I just really appreciate how open and welcoming everyone has been. Even though like people who are at the coffee shop were just so nice. They introduced themselves, they were like, if you need anything, come let us know. I was just like blown away. Here we go, day one. It has been such a long day. <laughs> it's like eight o'clock. I'm uh, going to the studio to keep choreographing the combo I've been teaching for hip hop. Since now that I have a good grasp on everyone's abilities and I think I know like how hard I need to make it. Everyone seemed to really enjoy the hip hop class and contact improv class. I got back to my room and I just 
dropped on the bed. I think between travel, staying up last night, getting ready for everything, just being really nervous, not sleeping well. Yo, hip hop class went hard. I did the whole workout across the floor, all that stuff, and then contact. I think I just, I was so drained. I didn't quite realize how tired I was. It was such a great experience, both classes. I just feel very loved and taken care of. So if anyone from Bellhaven is seeing this, just thank you all so much for your hospitality. It's only day one and I'm like already loving it um, and wanna come back, so just throwing that out there. They brought me lunch and dinner today and then I gotta catch up with my friend Ariana. We haven't seen each other since Bates in 2017, I think. Um, we were both in Rennie Harris's technique class and rep class, and she's an adjunct here. That's kind of how I got connected to them. Oh shoot, it's raining. It's just very grateful that we had an opportunity to catch up, and uh, now I'm at the studio. Fury, my swipe will get me in. Uh, no! What? They said my swipe would work. <gasps> well, there goes that plan. <laughs> Since I couldn't get into the studio, and I think that I could have if I like called security and stuff, I was just like, I'm tired. I don't want to do. I don't want to deal with that right now. I'm just gonna choreograph a little bit in my room, and I'm gonna try to move this TV to see if I can get the mirror a little bit better. And yeah, I'll just be a little chill choreo session. <laughs> Other cable for the R5. I'm gonna be bringing my laptop and connecting it to a monitor so as I take pictures the dentist will see it in real time. That's always been really helpful. Um, and then for the R5, I'll probably be using the 70 to 200 for the most part, but bringing the 16 to 35 and 24 to 70 just in case. I have my backup 5D Mark IV. I've got all my batteries charged and just like a little pro tip actually. See this blue part? That's how I know it is, ooh, come on, focus. That's how I know it's charged. So when it's not charged, I flip it over, and so it's black. So that way I know when I get home, I gotta charge it. I got the tether cable for the 5D Mark IV. I got a tripod. I have three speed lights, mounts for the speed lights, cause all the light stands we are borrowing from their photography department. Got batteries for the speed lights. Oh, and then my glow softbox. So tomorrow is gonna be a really full day. My dance photography lecture is 8 a.m. and then my hip hop class is right after that. And then we go straight into photo shoots until I think like one o'clock. And then 2.30 is my contact improv class. Basically what I did today, plus an 8 a.m. lecture and like 10 to 15 photo shoots I think. So yeah, tomorrow's gonna be fun. Uh, very long, so I'm gonna go to bed early. The one hour time difference really threw me off. It messed up my brain so many times, and that's probably also why I'm so tired, because it's really more like 11 o'clock for me right now, not 10. Um, so yeah, I was just getting used to that as well. So, good night everyone, and uh, see you tomorrow. the day it was so crazy we did class in the morning then photo shoots 
Uh, then I contacted Improvisation class. It all went really well. Just uh, it was hard to find moments to grab clips, but I think I got a couple. I'm getting dinner with Ariana and I think Tori in a little bit, but I finally got access to the gym. So I'm gonna grab a quick workout. And then that way, after dinner, I finally got access now to the dance building so I can go and get ready for class for tomorrow. Quick workout, more maintenance stuff, not really going hard, but just wanna, you know, keep my body in shape. Dancing with all these dance majors is tiring. <laughs> Dinner was so good, we got sushi. I gotta talk to Tori and um, Ariana again. And now I'm uh, gonna try and get back into the dance building to finish up the choreo for tomorrow's class. So let's, let's see, if, I think we fixed it. Yeah. 12 seconds later. All right, we are location scouting through Jackson. So Ari's driving and taking me around. Um, and we're just gonna try and find some spots because we want to do some outdoor on location shoots for Saturday and, well, Friday and Saturday. So Friday will be spots on campus, Saturday will be off campus. So we gotta figure that out and look at where the sun's gonna be at the time of the shoot and all that. So uh, yeah, ready? I guess. <laughs> I feel like we're about a drag race. Go ahead. Finally, end of the day, classes went really well. Every time I talk to people about the classes, um, I'm just so overwhelmed with gratitude at how willing everyone is to try new stuff. And then uh, I had a really great and long conversation with a couple of the dance majors. We met up, they had questions about video stuff and photography stuff and business stuff. And then that kind of went into um, what it's like being a Christian in the dance scene and all this other stuff. So. Uh, we ended up talking for a bit longer than planned, then I got back. I had to get ready for my uh, editing class tomorrow, and then my hip hop class, and then we got two photo shoots. So it's a long day. So, gonna go to bed. See you later. It's been a long day. Taught two classes, went straight into photo shoots. Luckily I had a longer break just now, so I got some lunch. And now there's a gallery space downstairs that we're gonna do our next photo shoot in, so I need to start figuring out the lights and stuff, but I have a full hour before the first um, dancers arrive, so it should be fun.
Good morning, it's Friday and it's super loud around here, but uh, man, I can't believe this week is almost over. It's been so fun, but very tiring. Uh, last night I met up with some of the students and we sessioned in the studio for a little bit and then uh, got a talking about dance, career stuff. I was asking them about Bellhaven, talking a little bit about you know how faith comes into all this and I got home, I started backing up files and I was like, man, I crashed. <laughs> I'm about to take some yoga and then meet up some people and then teach class and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Last class of the residency, let's get it. God, God put me on, God put me on. 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 God put me on, he the cosign. He the one that woke me up and told me that it's glow time. So some people get put on and then they lost their whole mind. Character before to come up, now he'll say, oh, blow mine. This that real Christian rap, ain't no bubble gun. These them substance to hold on to when the trouble comes. Got that Bible on me, fight the devil one on one. Joy in my soul like a package came early God put me on like a draft day jersey Killing fucking jams like my last name worthy Used to pray to God that so and so will put me on a song Nice! How about you? Yeah! Good job! So that is actually the end of class We're out of time So thank you everyone again for coming Thank you for like the whole week for this lunch I'll still see some of you for the photo shoot later today But I'm happy that like I was just thinking about it all we were doing this the song is about God from Neon, so if you know um, Al Minnick is the artist, and if you listen to this, like about this song, it talks about how like no main, no big label would sign him, and so it's really about like God's provision, like God put him on a contract, like God tried to blow off his music career, and so the idea of like if things aren't working the way you thought it was, whether it's a company or a career, or whatever, like God will always provide for you, and like there's always another avenue to success that you just might not know. officially a wrap for this residency and I'm just so grateful for this time here it's been such a blessing to me how God has been preparing my heart um, at my church I think in preparation for this and I'm just so grateful that I met Ariana all those years ago at Bates and it's led to this and I hope that the students and faculty were all able to get something out of the classes I was able to offer and I'm just excited to see where these dance majors go in their careers how they continue to live out their faith 
Um, it's just really inspiring to me, and I hope that we all stay in touch if any of you see this. And uh, hopefully I'll be back at Bella Haven soon. So unless something crazy happens when I'm going home tomorrow morning, uh, this will be the last clip. So see you all. Hopefully you got something out of the hodgepodge of clips I was able to gather. Thank you for all the dance tech students who are helping grab footage from the shoot today. Until next time.